Senator Black, Ontario. Thank you, Speaker. Honourable Senators, last week I had the incredible honour and privilege of representing the Senate of Canada at various D-Day ceremonies in Normandy, France. It was especially important for me as my grandfather, Levi Austin Trask, a World War I veteran, also fought in World War II. His son, my uncle, Raymond Gould Trask, participated in the D-Day campaign. He was one of the lucky ones. He came home. Last Thursday, June the 6th, was the 75th anniversary of D-Day, the day in 1944 when Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy, beginning the liberation of German-occupied France. D-Day is an extremely important event in world history and in Canadian history. It marked a glimmer of hope after years of tragic fighting in Europe and elsewhere. We lost 359 Canadian lives on D-Day itself and over 5,000 by the end of the Battle of Normandy. Canadians' remarkable efforts, along with the rest of the Allied forces, were a feat and a sacrifice that we will never forget. I was honoured to attend numerous ceremonies and pay tribute to, as our soldiers were recognised and remembered. Governor General Julie Payet and Veterans Affairs Minister Lawrence McCauley delivered heartfelt and moving remarks, passing along the respect and gratitude of all Canadians. New monuments to the sacrifices of Canadian heroes in the Battle of Normandy were unveiled in Chambois and at Point 67 near Caen. I was especially moved to observe the internment of additional remains in the grave of Sergeant John Albert Collis, a member of the Royal Hamilton Light Infantry who died shortly after D-Day at the age of 28. He is buried in Brettville sur Lays Canadian War Cemetery, but additional remains were found just two years ago and traced back to him through a signature ring and subsequent DNA analysis. His grandson, Danny Gallagher, and great-granddaughter, Megan Gallagher, were with us as part of the Canadian delegation. They and other family members took part in this very special moment last Friday. However, the most valuable and unforgettable part of the experience for me was getting to know the 37 amazing D-Day veterans who travelled with us and to hear their experiences. It was extremely emotional to be with them at Juneau Beach, standing where they fought, where they bled, and where some of their comrades died. 96-year-old Charles Scott Brown said it best when he spoke at one of our ceremonies about those who died and now rest in France. He said, and I quote, Don't be sad. They died for a good cause, and they are proud. When you walk out of this hallowed ground, stand tall, walk proud, and say, I am a Canadian. To the Canadian veterans still among us, thank you. To the Canadian veterans who have since passed, your bravery is not forgotten. And to the many young soldiers who crossed the Atlantic, never to return, we will never be able to repay your sacrifices. Honourable Senators, we will remember them. Nous nous souviendrons d'eux. We will remember them.